imagine anything so ridiculous as majority rule? Hmm. Congress makes the laws, the president sees to it that the laws are enacted, that must mean put to work, and the courts interpret the laws. That's it! What we need around here is a little interpretation, and who better to interpret a law about rabbits than a duck? Okay, buddy, I'm taking this whole duck season, rabbit season stuff to the Supreme Court to aggravate, uh, 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 to aggra, uh, to, to rule in my favor. Lawbreaker. Lawbreaker? Me? Says so right here, the Fourth Amendment to the Constitution protects us from illegal search and seizure, which is what you just did to me. So why don't we just trot up there to the Supreme Court and have a little chat about a duck's bill of rights? Eh, thanks, but no thanks. I'll just check this little document some more to redress my injustices. Collect taxes? Hmm, possibility. Cruel and unusual punishment. Well, I'm familiar with that. Well, any court that can interpret that duck's mind would have to have a supreme sense of humor. Just in case that duck or anybody else tries to put anything over on you, think of the Constitution like this tree. It's just like a big sturdy oak, and the trunk is the Constitution with three strong branches. The legislative, the Congress, the judicial, the courts, and the executive, the presidency. It may not be perfect, but it's protected us for over 200 years, and it looks good for a couple of thousand more.